When everything is white, glimmering silver white, and stillness fills the night, it's Christmas. A winter wonderland, a snowball in. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today we are decking out our porch for Christmas. I'm so excited. We're gonna go ahead and start out by fluffing our garland. I always like to get my lit garland from Walmart because it's very affordable. On the inside of our house, we have a lot of flocked garland, flocked Christmas trees. But on the outside, I usually stick with the regular garland just because it shows up a whole lot better from the street. And the flocked garland blends in with our door. But anyways, let's get this flocked and then, or flocked, let's get this fluffed. And then we're going to add it around our door. And if you have vinyl siding like we do, there's something called a vinyl siding hook. And it has been a lifesaver every time we go to decorate or hang something up outside because you can just pop it in between the little panels of siding and it stays really well and you can hang about anything up on it. So this is what we're using today to hang up our garland. And here in a second, we're going to be adding lots of fun stuff to our garland. But thank y'all so much for stopping by today. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, I would love to have you. But let's get decorating. Oliver is going to be helping me today. Anytime I'm doing something outside, he loves to be outside. So you can guarantee that he's going to be there too. But now that we've got the garland all hung up, I'm going to be adding to it. I love red and white at Christmas. So we're going to be adding red and white ornaments. We're going to be doing lots of red and white ribbon and lots of textures. But this year I've been having fun adding in silver. So we're going to be adding in some silver ornaments here and there and some other metallics here and there. I love this red sparkly ribbon from Michaels. It has little holes in it. And so when you put it over the lights on the garland, the light can still shine through and it doesn't completely cover up your lights. So I love that. I like using the see-through ribbon. I'm also going to be using some solid ribbon too, but I just make sure I don't put it over a light because then it takes away from all of the glowy lights. And if y'all haven't seen the viral Christmas tree yet, it is beautiful. I believe it's from Home Depot and all of those glittering lights are so fun. And so I'm thinking about trying to find some lights like that from either, I don't know if Walmart carries them or maybe at home. I need to find some twinkling lights. If you know where they are, comment down below and add them to this garland because from the street, I feel like that would be so beautiful. But anyways, I'm so excited about our garland this year. Last year, I did not know what to do with the garland and so I took it down and I'm just excited to be making a beautiful garland this year. Lakes fall, wonderful, magical, it's that time when everybody smiles, eyes are shining bright, I still remember how I used to feel. Right now we are still working on adding red ribbon, white ribbon, and cream ribbon. And then once we get that done, we're going to be adding in some ornaments and some picks. And I was so excited because I went up to the attic to try to find a certain pick that I was looking for. And I hit the jackpot on a ton of picks that I bought last year and didn't use. And I was so excited to find them. And so we're going to be using little tiny baby pine cones. And there was lots of different picks that I'm going to be showing you here in a second. And these are the silver balls that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. They are so glam and so fun. And I feel like they're such a fun pop here on the front porch. I love anything kind of loud for our front porch because you can see it from the street and it just feels so festive. Taking a break from the garland to come in and work on these lanterns. I found these at At Home this year and I was so excited because they were $35, but then I turned the tag over and they were 50% off and they are just beautiful. They're exactly what I was looking for. At first I was going to go with gold lanterns and I found some really pretty gold lanterns, but the two of them together were $100. So I was like, I'm going to keep looking and just see if I can find a better deal. And I stumbled on these and they sold me on the silver. They are so pretty. And then I also picked up these little candles from at home. They flicker 
and they were only five dollars which is a steal if you know you know these candles are so expensive normally and so five dollars for a flickering one is absolutely amazing i'm just going to tie a red velvet bow on these and put them on either side of our door Time of the After midnight at this point so I decided to call it a night go to bed and then wake up the next morning and go at it again so it is now the next morning I'm lighting a cozy candle pouring myself an iced coffee and we are about to get this day started I came in my room real quick to show y'all my little makeup routine. I want to stop and thank Merit for sponsoring today's video. I do not have any makeup on right now, so I'm sorry if I scared you just now. But I love Merit products. I've worked with them before, and I have been using their products, strictly their products, no other makeup products, for about three months now, and I am obsessed. I actually told Will the day before yesterday, I love Merit products. They make my skin feel so good, and they're not like heavy full coverage products, but they cover all of my blemishes, and they just feel so lightweight and airy, and they're non-comedogenic, which means they don't clog your pores, and if you know me, you know I've had severe skin issues in the past, so it's really important that I use non-comedogenic products, but anyways, I love Merit so much, and I was telling Will that the other day, and we actually went on a date last night, and he looked over at me in the car, and I was like, why is he looking at me? And he goes, are you wearing Merit? And I was like, yeah. He goes, it looks so good. And I thought that was so funny because a lot of times, you know, when you're talking to your husband, you feel like they don't really care. They're not really listening. Will was listening and he loved my makeup last night and it was all Merit. So I'm a huge fan of Merit. Merit would make a wonderful Christmas present for your mom, your sister, or anyone in your life who loves makeup products. They have all kinds of really good stuff. I'm going to share with you my little makeup routine. Very simple, very easy, and it's not like heavy full coverage, but it definitely covers everything that I want covered. All of my blemishes, all of my redness. I had really, really bad acne in college and some in high school too, but mostly college. I had severe acne and it left really bad acne scars. So love that for me, but I love Merit products. Merit is a minimalist beauty brand that creates products that are safe for the body, skin, and planet. Their formulations are actually considered luxury, but they're actually priced about 30% lower than traditional luxury makeup brands. So the very first product that I'm going to start out with today is the Minimalist, and I have the color Linen. Love this stuff so much. It works as a foundation and a concealer, and all I do is add some stripes here and there across my face, and blend it all together with a beauty blender. I'm doing this in my camera. I have a mirror right here to help me out, but I'm trying to do it in the camera so that y'all can see. Um, and like I said, not heavy, but if you need it full coverage, it's very buildable, which is me. I always like a very buildable foundation because I have so many acne scars. And I know my skin looks scary on camera, but I don't think you're getting the full, like, impact. My skin is really bad. It's always been pretty bad. It's at the best it's ever been right now because I am getting older for one and for two I know which makeup products and you know face moisturizers washes to use now I've been seeing a dermatologist um, but once again that non comedogenic aspect of Merit products is so important that's what my dermatologist recommended and so you can't go wrong with Merit. Okay, so as you can see, this is my side that I've already blended. This is the side that I still have to blend. But how gorgeous is that? I love this stuff. It makes my skin look so good. So now we are headed on to bronzer. I've told y'all about their bronzer before. This is probably my favorite Merit product. It comes in this really fun gold tube. And all you do is slide it right on. And I told y'all this the last time I worked with them. But their makeup literally just glides on. It's crazy. How gorgeous is that bronzer? Okay, now we're going in with the Flush Balm in Beverly Hills. I love this stuff so much. I always had a hard time doing blush because I was using the powder blush. And powder blush does not give you as much pigment, I feel like. And it doesn't go on near as smooth. And now we are going in with the Day Glow in the shade Kava. So I'm just going to add that right here on my cheekbones. That stuff is seriously incredible. It provides the perfect little highlight. I honestly wish I had Merit makeup on my wedding day. I remember trying to get the perfect highlight and I just really messed up. <laughs> and for our lips, we're going in with the color 
baby and I love this the other one I have I believe is the minimalism or minimalist but baby is almost prettier I feel like okay so that's the shade baby I love that and last but not least we're gonna go in with merit mascara Okay, so this is the finished Merit Makeup look. I love how natural it is, but also, like I said, it's so buildable, so you can work it up to full coverage, and I love that it covers all of my blemishes while also still feeling very light. Every first purchase comes with a signature bag, and all orders over $40 get free shipping. Shop Merit's only sale of the year early. Use the code LORE20 for 20% off your order. My code is live for 24 hours. When I found all of those picks in the attic, I also found all of these Christmas ornaments. And I was actually looking for these when I went to decorate our tree in the living room. And I couldn't find them anywhere. And so I'm going to be using some of those really snowy, fluffy white ornaments on our garland out here. I'm also going to be adding in some picks with those little baby pine cones. There's also some picks that look like sticks with snow on them. And so we're going to be adding some of those, some red glittery ones. And we are going to make this garland nice and full. And I promise this whole video is not about garland. We are moving on here in just a second. It's the time of year, winter wonderland, a winter wonderland. I was texting my sisters on this day and I was like, making garland is so therapeutic. It's like my new favorite thing. You just buy an inexpensive piece of garland and you can make it so beautiful by just adding ornaments and ribbon and picks. And yes, I am using hot glue. I probably wouldn't do that if I had paid a lot of money for this garland, but since I didn't, I wasn't afraid to mess it up. I was just having fun and going at it and trying to be as creative as possible. So if you're needing it out and you need something creative to do, go grab yourself some garland and add a bunch of really fun stuff to it and make it as cozy as possible and put it somewhere really cozy in your house, like maybe next to your TV or on your front door, maybe on your bed. And I'm telling you right now, it is gonna make you so happy. So for these little lanterns, I decided to add some of those baby pine cones to the bottom, just to add another little pop of something down there. And I really wanted to use our black urn planters and put a little baby Christmas tree in them and put them behind those lanterns. But we just do not have a big enough space here on our doorstep, so I had to choose one or the other. One day when we have our forever home, I'm going to make sure I have a big space on either side of the door so that I can make a really pretty display for Christmas and all of the holidays. But now we're headed inside. I'm going to make a wreath for our front door. I was really going for more of a simple wreath, but then I saw this little idea on Pinterest where you got several different types of ribbon and layered them in. We're going to end up changing that because it did not work out. Oliver was trying to help me here. Um, but I did end up just going with a simple red velvet ribbon. And then I wanted to add some bells, so I cut some of the bells off of our TV stand garland. Um, and then I couldn't really make them work very well, so I just decided to take two bells and tie them up with the ribbon. And it's very simple, but I love the way that that turned out. And this wreath lights up. I got it from Hobby Lobby. All of the wreaths that I'm going to use in today's video light up. And I love that because when it gets dark outside at, outside at night, everything looks so pretty. I 
I had to pause for a minute and go to a wedding, so that's why I'm in a completely different outfit now. But when we were on our way home from the wedding, Oliver fell asleep in the car, and we pulled in the driveway, and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to let him snooze. So I opened up the windows, and I was working on the front porch and listening for him to wake up. And it was just the right amount of time to finish this up, so that was really perfect. But we're going to go ahead and hang up these wreaths on our windows. I love these every year. I think the first year I used them was last year, actually. But they are so fun to come home to when they're all lit up after dark. And then over there on that bench, I just added a Christmas tree pillow that I already had from years back. Oliver last year pulled all of the tassels off of it. So I was like, you know what? This is perfect for outside. I don't care if it gets messed up. And then I just layered it with our other little gray pillow there. And then that tree over there in the corner came from Home Depot last year. And I love that tree. This year, I actually put orange lights on it for Halloween. And it was so fun. And it just adds the perfect little pop of, I guess, height over there in that corner. And now that we've got a wreath on all of our windows, our little house is done. Now I am going to add one more thing, probably in next week's video, to our flower beds. I have some light-up snowflakes, and they were way back in the attic, and I couldn't reach them. So we're going to add that probably next week, but I love the way that everything came together. I'm going to show you some clips during the daytime, and then I'm going to show you a clip after dark. It is so cozy, but let me know what y'all think about it down below. I appreciate every single one of you who stopped by and watched my video today. If you enjoyed, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, like I said in the beginning, I would love to have you, but I will see y'all again on Friday with a brand new video. Bye! Christmas